This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, another crowded day on Long Island Sound. Yeah, nice and uh, it's calm. There's nobody out here. Um, gonna try a mixed trip. I, I want to, if you've hopefully seen my videos on these giant spoons, um, I want to give that a shot for stripers in a spot that I haven't tried those spoons before. Uh, it's not the best conditions, you know, it's a little too nice and on a quarter moon, but we'll see. Hey, and then I get my fluke stuff, so I'll go for fluke if that doesn't work, and well, I'll probably figure out how to bend the rod somehow. All right. Yeah, well, maybe I was right about one thing, a little too nice in that uh, quarter moon. Uh, you know, the tides just weren't really pushing. I did nothing there. I, I mean, I, I tried for bass. I spent about two hours in total. I also switched over to fluke, and you know, I didn't even get a bite on the gulp. I mean, not even a sea robin. It was just uh, it was sterile. It was like almost nothing marking. So I took a 10-mile run uh, to where I've recently had some fish, and uh, this is shallower fishing. You know, there that other spot, I was yeah, more in the 40, 50 foot range, although you know, I'm going to end up in that here. But um, yep, the four inch grubs, one ounce buck. Hey, you see that red on the right hand side of that plotter of the screen? Those are my track marks from the previous trip. And so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going right back to that spot where I just kind of just kept going over it and over it last time a dozen keepers and uh, hey guess what that failed too I'm about three hours in now I don't have a fish third try uh, 16 17 feet moved in shallower and I've got wind against current no problem I'll use the trolling motor to, to get the right drift with the current All right, New York limit, four fish at 18 and a half inches. This guy is going to fall just short. All right, the key to this trip is going to show up on the left-hand side of that fish finder in just a few seconds. Um, yep, going to see some bait clouds on there, and that's going to turn this trip around. Get this bait here. Slack. Yeah, if you've watched my underwater video, you'll see how these things hit something and will sometimes just keep swimming with it. That gives you slack. You feel slack, you set the hook. That's a fish. More bait. Again, that's my trolling motor remote that's in my hand. And uh, one of the things I'm doing is, as soon as I hook up, I hit the anchor button and electronically anchor with spot lock. This way here, I don't lose any of the drift. When I'm done dealing with the fish, I take it out of spot lock, just resume the drift. Oh, there's another one. There's fish here. <sighs> Took me hours to find them, but that looks like it could be a keeper. Yeah, I'm gonna swing, but. It's pretty good. Yep. Hey, it's a keeper right now, but if you measure it correctly, push that mouth all the way close up against the end of that ruler, it just falls short.
Look at all those sand eels. Yeah, that's a 19 incher, so. You know, I, I've had in this spot, I'm not showing them, but I've had, actually I looked on the video, they had 27 shorts. Um, just not, that's the first keeper. I was gonna move, um, but I guess I'll stay on a little longer with this, uh, having this one keeper. I mean, the fishing's been tough. It's, it's hard to leave fish and bait. Um, you know, I'm hoping to maybe get on a, you know, a little vein of bigger fish. So I've got a spot about a mile and a half away from here where this time of the year um, there's less fish but maybe a better chance at, at a keeper. And you know, I so you see there's no boats in the water. Well, one boat is over there and I, I kind of I don't know, feel funny about going over where he is now. Um, but yeah, this is just getting a little ridiculous. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how it plays out with that other boat. Hey, these gulp grubs are quite durable and just keep putting them on. Put them on any way you can as long as that tail's not ripped off and they don't rip the tails on the grubs um, as easily as they do the swimming mullets. Turns out that boat is my brother and he's got a 25 inch as his only fish, but guess where I'm heading? Luke, right? Yeah, yeah, all right. Um, how deep? 42, 43. Any others? No. All right, left hand side of the fish finder. Look at that ball of bait near the bottom, and hey, that's been the key to finding the fish, as it often is. huge pile of bait down there. It was a uh, 20 incher, and um, there's some tremendous bait balls here, and it was right under a bait ball. So where I had them is uh, well southwest, and like uh, there's a, like a 16 to 19 foot ledge, but most of them are like 16, 17 feet. But um, it, you know, I had the one keeper. And I think none none of the others were over 18. They, but you know they weren't they weren't tiny ones. Here's a here's a fluke kit. Oh boy! Actually, I've I caught another one like that here. And I didn't get any like this on the on the inside. It's weird. There I saw Bob land a fish over there. What depth? Four one. Four one. Okay. 
So that 41, 42 is where I'm seeing the bait balls. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and run. Yeah, I, I, that's, you got the I know, yeah, yeah. What are you using for bait? I've never caught one on a. I never caught one like that. Did he eat? Did he hit it? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I mean, I've caught him black fishing with gulp, but never doing this. Yeah, all this depth discussion, right hand side of the plotter, you see all that dark gray in there? Those are contour lines. They're so close together that it's dark on the on the plotter um, it goes from like 20 to 80 feet real quick and you see the red lines hopefully that's me squiggling along trying to stay on that part of the slope 41 42 feet where the bait and the fish are today <laughs> it's not necessarily next time so this is an older tsunami rod there is uh a lighter version of the Dark Matter Skinner Jig and Bounce casting rod that's been so popular. It's a lighter version and it's caught up in the supply chain somewhere. It'll be around this summer. No need to measure that one. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. You put me fit you put me on some fish. So without a trolling motor, it's really hard for him to stay on that slice of the ledge where they're hitting. So he's going to go try sure. another spot. And, uh, yep, this is an hour later. He's easily another dozen fish, but no keepers. Can you believe it? Yep. You know, the first two out of three were keepers. He's complaining about the gulp durability. You know, I haven't had much of that today. You're using what? Four in, what are you using? But what kind? Uh, no, no. Swimming mullet or? Oh no, see I use grubs, yeah. They came out like last year or something. I, I don't use the mullets. Yeah, well, you gotta use them up because Yeah, yeah, right, right along the line. Yeah. Right, to what I have, my oh no, I haven't been back this far. This is the farthest I've gone back. Yeah, he's making one or two more drifts. I'm gonna do one more drift. Um, yeah, it's starting to get a little choppy out here too. I got a long ride back. It took a long time to get that last one. Get 
Yeah, got 19 inch. <laughs> Good enough, you know. Yeah, hey, hang a net over. I'd throw it, but not for what they cost. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, come on. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. A 80, 80 pound leader, just. Uh, well, you know, big. Six? Yeah, it's five, six, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's for, for stripers. If you haven't seen the spoon video I put up uh, recently, wow, it's really worth watching. So uh, uh, he does some bass fishing around here. I want to set him up with a spoon. Um, all right, hey, that worked out great. Thank you, Brother Bob, for putting me on the fish. And then he uh, actually broke the waves for me on the way back. I trailed his wake all the way back to the inlet. So... Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Check out my online courses at saltstrong.com Skinner.